This book has techniques I want to learn and subject matter that makes my heart go pity pat and what more could I ask for? I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and I want to share with you Miniature Needle Painting Embroidery, Vintage Portraits, Florals, and Birds by Trish Burr. I found this one at the library and I want to learn the kind of embroidery that shades colors. That is on my wish list and I've been looking for a book that would explain it well. This might be the book. It is full of pictures. It is full of projects that make my heart sing. These are, when the author says miniature, she means it. They are tiny. This one is one and a quarter by two inches. It is starter pansies. And these are charted in, or charted is probably not the right word. The patterns are designed using DMC and Anchor. So the threads are accessible. I think I might try to tackle the little starter bird. Isn't she cute? He cute? It is one and a quarter inches by one and a half inches. There are full size patterns and it just has charts and lots of pictures showing you how to fill in the colors. I'm not deluding myself into thinking that this won't be a challenge, but it's a challenge I would love to tackle. This one is called I Gather Sweet Flowers. I love that these all make me think of children's books or greeting cards. Jack and Jill. On the Wall is one of my favorites. if I believe that this cute little girl is drawing on the wall. I think she might have a piece of paper pinned up there because beating the hands. She just seems cuter than what I think of when I think of my own children draw drawing on the wall. Rose. It's happened once or twice. Magic erasers are a fabulous thing. Bird blossoms. I love how delicate these are. Bird song. And I was just reading a needlepoint book with these dark, rich, almost oppressive colors. And I think there's room in my life for both. Here's birds on holly. And blue tit and wild roses. And like I said, there are pictures. I feel like, I haven't tried it yet, but I feel like this book would hold my hand. <laughs> Feathered Friends. I don't feel like it's shoving a pattern at me and saying, okay, you're on your own here. Basket of Anemones. And I don't expect all books to have all of the instructions. Christmas Roses. But I love books that teach a technique and do it in detail. Daisies. Which type, do you prefer books that have just what you need or do you want them to teach you how to do the thing? Sweet Peas. I like both different books serve different purposes. Some of them teach things that I will never ever do and I'm fully aware of it. And this might straddle the line between the two. Antique Pansies. That one is two by two and three quarter inches. Burgundy Pansy. Remember those metal frames my daughter got me for Christmas at the estate sale that came with kits of cruel flowers? Burgundy Bud. If I stitch one of these, I could put it in that. Watercolor Pansies. And that, oh, Watercolor Bud. I think we are at the end of the patterns here. I love this book. I think it's one that I need to track down a copy of because I think it's one that I, if I tackle these projects, would spend a whole lot of time using. And I like stitchery books. Not a surprise if you watch my channel. Let me know, does this stuff appeal to you? Have you done anything like this? If you have, do you have any tips for me? Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you with more videos soon. I've got a whole playlist of flip-throughs and book reviews linked up in the corner.